So I just built this uh, three-year quad, and I uh, just want to point out some of the things that I took special care with. Um, the first thing is that uh, when I was attaching the motors, um, and actually any other screws on this, I used Loctite. I used the red Loctite. And uh, it's very important because, um, you know, the, it's a lot of vibration, and the uh, screws come loose, and so you might as well, um, you know, use Loctite and avoid a couple of disasters. Uh, the next thing is, um, you know, in the instructions for building the 3R quad, uh, they, they tell you to put the, the little standoffs on the bottom and the big standoffs on the top. Uh, the issue with that is that uh, there's a lot of uh, magnetic interference coming from the PDB and, um, and, and the battery. So uh, you want to get the APM up as high as possible. So um, I use the long standoffs on the bottom and then I use the short sandals on the top. And unfortunately, uh, if you do it that way, it doesn't quite have enough clearance for the APM to fit in there. So I attach some little extra standoffs there to, to give it the height that it needs. Uh, the other thing uh, is um, vibration, vibration dampening. So what I do is I use this uh, Dubro foam, uh, which personally I think is the best uh, for vibration damping. Uh, and I put that onto the second level and I just glue it there. Uh, with crazy glue, and then I actually just glue the APM right on top of it. Uh, so that that uh, you know the nice thing about that is that there's no hard mounts uh, of the APM to the frame. Uh, it's just it's kind of floating on a little you know uh, quarter inch piece of foam. Uh, the other thing is uh, of course I use the power module that comes with the APM too. Uh, the reason for that is that the motor compensation uh, that is out with um, RG Copter 3.0 uh, works uh, best if you have a current monitor. Uh, so that is that. And um, oh yeah, the last thing is uh, I use a Futaba 7 channel, but um, I don't use the Futaba receiver. I use the FR Sky uh, fast compatible receiver. Uh, and uh, again, the nice thing about this is uh, it's only a single wire instead of many wires. So again, cuts down a little bit on vibration, I guess. I've never actually tested it, but uh, that's my belief. So using a PPM sum, uh, of course what you do is you just have a single wire which you put in the channel, input channel 1 here and then you put a little, uh, little jumper between the uh, signal lines of channel 2 and channel 3. And uh, that is about it. I also actually um, uh, put a little bit of foam between the battery and the frame but that's actually just to, uh, uh, to give it, you know, again to separate a little bit from the APM and also to make sure it doesn't slip around. That is it.